Now that we've configured your Thunderlister settings, we're going to list your first item with Thunderlister. So on the left hand side of the navigation area, you're going to go under the category that says Listers and choose Thunderlister. You're going to grab a product URL that you want to list. With Hydralister, you can list with Amazon or you can list with any of the over 300 suppliers that we work with. All right, so you'll grab the product URL and you'll stop it right here with Amazon. Um, you don't want all this other garbage at the end of the URL. But So what you'll want to do is grab your product URL. You can use the whole URL or you can just use the ASIN number. It doesn't matter. With Hydralister, you can use either one. And so we're going to paste in the product URL, select the country that we're listing in, US or UK, and hit Add New Item. Okay. The first thing that we have here is the title. You can modify your title, do any editing that you want to your title. So you'll, you'll edit it. And as you can see, the title, if it's over 80 characters, there's a character counter over here. If it's over 80 characters, this turns red. So you know to decrease the length of your title to less than to 80 characters or less. This is a rather long title. All right, so now that the title is under 80 characters, you can hit update in description. And if you scroll down, wherever the title tag was within your template, it will insert your revised title. Next, you'll select the category. It's pre-selected, but you can change it and select from a dropdown, or you can enter a category number over here. All right. And then you'll see that your desired profit percentage is entered here. This is based on your settings in the Thunderlister settings. But if you click on the profit calculator, it will show you the price at the supplier. And based on your desired profit percentage, what your estimated profit will be and what your listing price would be if you wanted to set this at break even. So, you know, I at least want to list over this amount to make a profit. All right, you have the ability to edit and just type in a price. If you want to list for a certain amount, you can just type in that amount here, your selling price, or you can type in the estimated profit that you want to get. Okay, you can type in the desired profit percentage that you want to get. And all of these numbers adjust for you. So if your break even amount here is 3566, then you know that whatever you do, you need to list above this amount if you're wanting to list for a profit. There are some people that want to list for a negative profit, and that's perfectly okay too. So um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this item at my desired profit percentage and hit use the percentage as your profit margin. Okay, that creates your formula. Also note that if you're using Thunderlister, all of your items, if you're using SKU Grid, will come over to SKU Grid with an override formula. And SKU Grid will work to maintain the profit percentage that you set in Hydralister. All right. And as you can see, the UPC code is already filled in if it is known from the supplier information. You can change this if you pre-purchase uh, UPC codes from Hydralister, you can just click this button. It will insert a new UPC code here. If you um, have your own UPC codes, you can also put them in. 
you can fill in the manufacturer part number, which is usually like a model number or something like that, but you can also enter in keywords here. And you can do the same for brand name. You can choose to either leave the brand names there or change any of these values. The EAN number, if you're using uh, UPC codes, the EAN will always be zero and then the UPC code. Even if you leave this blank, if UPC is filled in, Hydra is automatically going to add a zero in front of it once it's listed. Your item quantity, your default quantity is already set. If the item has a variation, you will select that. However, with Amazon, you don't use variations. You just um, use the correct ASIN number for the variation. Your handling time is automatically set, but you can change it. You'll notice that your listing duration is set, your condition is set, and your location is here. Any product dimensions are here, and you can change your business policies that are attached to this listing if you want to. Next, you'll see that you can edit your images. Here are your images that will appear in your listing. So if you click the pencil icon, this will allow you to edit your image. So, you know, one of the popular features is to flip or rotate the image. So you would click orientation, then click this mirror and flip the item. You see how that flipped? There we go. And hit apply. You can also use any of the other editing features. You can add text if you want to add somewhat of a watermark. You can put your store name in here. And then you can make that smaller and drag it where you need it to go within the image. Okay, then you would hit apply. Once you're done making your changes, hit save. All right, so the image has been edited. Next, you have ability to rename your images if you would like. And click OK. That's using the tag button. All right, and if you had a different image that you wanted to become the main image, all you do is hit the star button, oops, right here. And now that image is now your main gallery image. All right, and if you don't want to include an image within your listing, you can uncheck it. And now that listing will not come through, that image will not come through with the listing. You also have ability to upload new images. Just click upload new picture and follow the prompts to upload new images. All right, and then here you can just edit the description as much or as little as you like. And I'm going to take some of that stuff out of here. All right, so now your listing is ready to go and all you have to do is come down and click list item. Once the item has been listed, it will tell you item was listed and it will be exported to SKU Grid within 15 minutes. If there are any uh, warnings or error messages, you'll see them here. If you're using business policies, you will see this PayPal warning here, but it means nothing. Just ignore that. The item was listed. It now appears on your item list at the top. Okay, so there's the URL for the item. This would be a direct link to your eBay listing and you'll see the country that the status of the item is listed and that it's still pending export to SKU Grid. All right, and now you've listed your first item.